Good morning. So we've got a shoot today on a pickup that someone's trying to sell. And if you're selling an old vehicle and you don't take good photos of it, you're really not doing everything you can to get the most money out of that vehicle. Uh, my buddy Kyle Jensen from Minden, Nebraska is bringing me out to photograph um, a 70s blue Ford pickup for him. It is for sale and I'm gonna give you a little behind the scenes look at what I do when I go photograph a vehicle for sale. So the first thing I do is pack the bag. Got my go-to camera here. Um, we'll go ahead and grab the wide angle lens so that we can get that nice interior shot where you can see everything. That's pretty much it. Besides a couple filters here and there and some batteries, we're not gonna do anything fancy because when you're selling a vehicle, people just wanna see high quality, honest, photos of the vehicle in decent lighting and maybe a couple um, creative shots here and there, but really they're just looking for something really honest. Since it's cooler than a polar bear's toenails outside, I would recommend your long underwear, your stocking hat, and one of these sweet face masks. Good morning. Welcome. We're vlogging this whole thing. Is that right? Yeah. How okay. are you today? I am well. How are you? Good. There she is. There she is. So blue. It would not be my first shoot amongst cows, believe it or not. Who striped your camera? Who striped my camera? Guess who striped my camera? Maddie. Maddie Matson. The myth, the legend. That's fantastic. Yeah. Fresh. Fresh pinstrapping by Matthew Matson. <laughs> Photographing good bodywork. Reflections. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, cool spot, man. Super cool spot. the Ford Slam, I guess. Well, cool, man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we'll go through the, all the editing and okay. everything else on this, and then I'll get her posted. Sounds great. Cool. So you just finished shooting the 67 Ford pickup uh, for Kyle, and now we're going to go back, and I'll show you what goes into the editing portion of this. Beautiful. So now that we've shot all the photos, I'm going to show you just a few little things I do in editing uh, to make these photos look as best as they can. So as you can see here, we shot some pretty standard angles of the pickup, uh, front, back, sides, 
underneath, a couple little more artistic ones, detail shots so you can really see the bodywork and interior. And then a little trick that I do is try to photograph the, the owner driving it or somebody driving it. That way it's easier for uh, potential buyers to see themselves in the driver's seat. So uh, basically what I do is I kind of just pick a photo that represents most of the photos um, pretty well. Uh, rather than putting any presets on and just sticking a, a look on them, um, I want to keep these as straight from the camera as possible. So just really little things to kind of make up for um, the camera's compression, just bringing out some details a little bit, kind of just adjusting for the the camera itself and exposure, things like that. So typically I shoot a little bit of a neutral color mode. What that does is it gives me more control over the colors I want to bring out. So we want to make sure that the blue is as accurate as possible. So for example, I might go in here and raise the shadows a little bit, not to try to make the truck look better than it is, but rather to make the truck look exactly as it is. And so we'll go ahead and do that to all these photos. So we edited a little bit over a hundred photos and this should give Kyle some good options for when he goes to post these. He can kind of pick and choose what shows certain aspects the best and they're very honest, high quality photos of the truck. So the way to get the most money out of your car for sale is to take good photos, good honest photos, good high quality photos. And if that's something that I can help you with, just shoot me a message. Let's take some photos. So if the truck in this vlog caught your eye and you're like, I might need that in my life, I can tell you that Kyle Jensen is one of the nicest, most honest dudes that I've met. There will be no buyer's remorse if you buy this pickup. Nothing will be kept from you and you'll be happy with the sale. Pretty much guarantee it. If this truck does interest you, you can go ahead and message me and I will get you Kyle's information. That's it. 